In this tutorial, we shall continue with our beginner's exercises. Mm -hmm. The figure we are about to design is quite complicated in relation to our previous attempt in our last video. So with, with that said, let us begin. So the figure we are designing, um, as you can see, oh, I don't even know how to describe it. But it's just an isometric drawing with some isometric circles in it. Um, so with that said, let's go to our... To our graphics design. So the first thing we're supposed to do as usual is to uh, define our material. Um, in this case, we, we talked about the procedure as to how to go about this. You can choose any material that you feel is most necessary for you. I went with carbon, carbon alloy steel. Um, and then we go and choose our plane. We talked about the plane being arbitrary because we're just dealing with one design. And then now in this case, um, we know that the base has got 70 by 100 and instead of going with the whole line when we were trying to design um, a, a rectangle this time around we can just go just below the circle there's just below the circle there's this rectangle icon just click on it and then just dimension dimension it um, and then we're supposed to give it a width of is it 14 millimeters give it a, a width of 14 millimeters that's after you go to the extruded plus base all right so in this case it's it's quite up to you um, with what you want what you want to design first in this case i thought i think it'd be a bit easier to draw the a thing with a length of 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 a hundred. All right, but you can even start with the wedge and whichever one feels most comfortable with you. So at the edge of of your rectangle, um, you draw a line with a breadth of of fourteen along the the circle. So you should have a, a length of 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 seventy and a breadth of of, of fourteen. And then obviously dimension it to give it 14 okay and then um, I'm supposed to give it a length of of 65 but the question is why should we give it a length of of 65 as we can see we have a radius of 35 above and the length of 100 right the the radius starts just after the hundred or just below the hundred so you're just supposed to subtract the hundred from from 35 which should give us 65 and that should be able to give us like a L bar that that we need so again we select one face as normal two and we can be able to draw those two holes now for those that are familiar with signing drawing engineering drawing they might be able to see that Q15 for two holes means that both holes have got um, both holes have <clears throat> diameters of, of, of 15 so just below the, the circle line there's a drop bar there select the center line I'm supposed to find the center of this whole thing it's easier to work with once you find the center I believe we talked about finding the center in in the previous video for those that haven't checked it out I highly recommend you you look over it um, and then as you can see um, it has a length of 14 is it 34 from the other edge of of our figure 14 and an inward distance of oh sorry uh, 34 and an inward distance of of 14 so what we do is just like in the previous just like with uh, the previous design we draw a circle of length 14 and an inward distance of 34 on both sides and then we can plot our circle from that point so at the edge you draw a line and an inward distance like that we'll be able to dimension it cancel that line um, select line again okay give it the distance all right so they share the same the same same the same the same center so i think yeah, I think the error is because there's that axis over there, so it's easier for us just to delete that line, and then we can draw it just 
a few millimeters shy of that that axis so you can dimension the line of 34 okay and we can delete that line it's not important we'll redraw it okay um next up we draw the other line since they say they share the, the same center there we go so you can dimension both lines they've got distances of 14 there we go 14 and then 14 so where that 14 ends pretty much tells us the center of both circles as you can see they've got uh, diameters of q15 like we said so we go there and we go on circle and we draw two circles which will have a radius of of 7.5 both of them so we go on smart dimensions and we dimension both circles okay so if you're having any challenges again i would pretty much refer you i would pretty much refer you to my previous video we talked about how to do extruded bro space and uh, how to draw holes so i decided to delete these lines because it's easier for me to work with something it's just cleaner of, of of a model without having so many so many lines those lines have done their purpose which was for us to find the center of the two holes so we'll just delete them and then we we'll go on extruded cut we know that both of these holes are through and throughs so we just cut them okay so we cut the both both holes over there and we have our, our two holes there All right looks like our model is is shaping up so the next thing that we have to try to do is i think i think we can try to draw our radius of 35 that's the circle that should be that side so in this case i'm going to introduce you to something that's just below the um the circle command and it's called the three point arc in this case it would be easier for us to deal with a three point arc then it would be with us drawing a circle and then trim the entities i will talk about trimming entities probably in the next two videos um so we just go there just below a circle we go with the three point arc so the three point we are talking about uh the two edges and the center of the circle all right like that then just make sure the center just goes right there like that and it has a radius of 35 okay so as you can see it has a radius of 35 and then what we have to do here is we have to go on the extruded bros base uh, reverse the direction i think yeah yeah reverse the direction and in this case it had it should have a thickness of 14 I think the, 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 the thing here is that I did not draw a line along the same along the horizontal axis of the circle but it should still work out I don't think there should really be an error yeah it should still work out so we know the thickness should be 14 we reverse the direction uh, we we'll give it a distance uh, uh, a thickness of 14 14 millimeters and it should be able to work out okay there we go. And then we can just click okay then we move on so um, the next thing that I feel we should be able to do is we've got an extruded circle coming out a circle there it has um, a radius of, 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 what, of 18 and a length of 30 so we can just draw that circle I think it's probably another easier thing for us to deal with so we go over there <clears throat> and there's also another circle it's another hole but we shall we should be able to, to deal with that a little bit later on so Yet again, I feel it's slightly easier again for us to first find the center of of a circle, the center of everything. So we go, if I locate the center line, okay, we talked about how to find the center, it gives us a point. We draw a line, 
In this case, we know that the three circles that we have we've got the one with the radius of 35, radius of 18, and the diameter of, of 20, they share the same center. So that's the center we're talking about. So we go on our circle. In this case, we're drawing a circle with Q36 or R, R19. Let me just give it our dimension. Okay. There we go. So one thing we know is that it has a length of 30 extruding from it let's just confirm that yes it does have a radius of uh, a length of 30 so we just give it a length of 30 okay there we go so the next thing is for us to draw the rib i figure the rib would be easier for us to deal with in two parts we first draw the part where the rib touches the the extruding circle. So yet again, um, we know what happens. It just touches the it it comes from one base to the other base where it touches the the circumference of the circle. So we go on the center line again. I think this time this in this in this in this diagram we have to use the center line a lot. So we go there. We go on the center line. There we go, that's the center. We draw our center in this case. Okay. I probably should have saved it the first time I drew it. It's a bit tedious to be doing it over and over again. So like that. We know that distance should be... Because the the, the, the thickness of the rib is, is what should be 14. Unless I'm mistaken, it should be 14. So the two halves, because they're sharing the same center, should be 14, 14, should be 7, 7 each. So we should be able to dimension them properly yeah let me just confirm yeah they, they, they should be 14 14 a piece so there we go we give it again maybe seem to have made the same mistake we made whereas they share with the axis so you can just delete that line all right then delete that one as well and then let's just draw something just either over or just below the axis and then we can just draw a line that touches the circumference of a circle like that and then we can dimension it it needs to have a distance of of 14 and it needs to also of seven and it also needs to have a distance of of seven so yet again what we need is another line that touches the three the two points so we make use of a three point arc the two points in this case the three points again are going to be that point there and the other point and the other the other point should be along the circumference like that there we go okay so we go and extruded bros base and it should have um a length again just like the circle of 30. yeah it should have a length of 30. okay there we go that should really be easy so the next part is should be quite easy for us is just to draw our circle now our, our diameter 20 circle um i think we've done this about four or five times by now so you guys should really 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 be familiar with how to do how to go about this so i think we can do this in, in a bit of a haste we shouldn't really waste a lot of time on it um So you find our center there it is we draw our circle we should have a diameter of <clears throat> of 20 this time it's a hole so we know we're supposed to go we're supposed to go an extruded cut there we go. We go on features and we go for extruded cut and it should also be a through and through hole extruded cut like that just extend the line a bit just to make sure it's a through and through okay and finally now we have to finish the other part of the rib okay so selecting the part that yeah that can extrude the 30 thing that and clicking the normal to part should should get us started okay as we can see the rib touches one edge and then touches the other edge so we select normal to so in this case what we have to do 
is from the point where the where the drawing ends like that to where the rib starts I'm supposed to draw a rectangle triangle triangle there we go like that it should be able to give us something like that all right so we go on extruded bros base um, reverse the direction okay and we should give it a thickness of or a width of, of, of 14 and that should really be it all right I think uh, we're done with our model slightly more complicated one than what we've, what we've done in the previous video but I think it gives us a bit more exposure as to how things work um, yeah so um, thank you very much for watching um, if you have any questions or you have any particular design that you have in mind that you would like for us to work on just leave a comment in the comment section below and we should be able to deal with it leave a like um, if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and have have a great day right oh forgot to save the thingy we just just give it um you know so 2020 design 2 and we should be done with everything